either a, a like a fixed mindset or a growth mindset type of person and you can change like as you, the years go by but you start off either in either camp and I was saying that I've met so many more people in lockdown than I do when I'm like free in the world when I'm traveling and I'm going out more I've met so many amazing people and connected with so many new coaches and clients and business women and it's been incredible because I think the more that you speak your truth the more connected you are to to the rest of the world and I think because I keep speaking about the way that my journey's been speaking about people going through their quarter life crisis speaking about how your mindset can change and can really support you in your growth and it's not a it's not always having to be a battle as well and I think that just attracts more people to finding out more and and like piques their curiosity almost how important is it for each of us to own our truth and then when we own it we're positioning in a way that you know what I want people to experience this. I want people to learn from this. I want people to take away and understand that they don't have to um, mold themselves over expectations. I know that's something we talked about, how yeah. what you grow up and you're supposed to be this way, this way, this way. But how important is it to own our truth and to put our truth out there? So because I who are beginning their their self-realization or their self, self like true self journey I think that your truth changes because of your journey because of what you're trying to achieve so currently if you're at the beginning of your um, self-development phase and you're just starting out so many of your so-called truths the stories that you rely on the stories that you base all of your decisions on are going to change because those truths have kept you where you are and it's about really looking at your so-called truths or your belief system and thinking well does this match where I'm going does this match who I want to be does this fit into the world that I would love to live in and looking at those kind of truths and seeing what well, actually no what what would actually support me and what stories can I tell myself and I always um I always tell the story about um your your truths and the things that you believe so when I was a kid my mum would tell me that eating chocolate at night time would give me nightmares now it, as a kid that's a really good story to believe because it, obviously it's going to stop you eating sweets late at night it's not good for your teeth, it's not good for your health, it's just all around not a good idea and that's brilliant as a child but as an adult it's a complete felt like, felt like fake story, fake news and you learn these things as you grow older that the stories that you, you base all your decisions on may not come from you, may not be necessarily true but they've been a really useful truth at some point in your life and so looking at things like that and deciding does that still work for me, does my corporate life or my corporate title still mean the same as it did before, do I need to be in a relationship or do I need some alone time? Do I need to be this type of person to grow or do I need to let all of those things go and just be me for a bit? And quite often our truest self is hidden under a lot of assumptions and a lot of expectations and it's about digging past all of those things to get to your truest version of you. I'm <laughs> sorry.